questions. So I'm sure the PTs have seen me doing this with patients, taking up the ballet bar thing. Um, so the point of CARS is to groove out your current range of motion that you own. So you're not allowed to have any pain because if you're in a painful range, you don't own that range. You're in it inadvertently, you're just overcompensating through that. So um, this is to groove out what you currently own, make it cleaner, and also teach people how to be aware of that joint because so many people, it's very difficult for them to activate if, or strengthen if they're not even aware of that space. So it becomes awareness, then control, and then loading. So first cars is just really helpful for just awareness and control. Does that make sense? Yes. So you're just going through ranges of motion of every joint. You can make a car for everything, even your fingers and your toes. We're not gonna go that deep, but we'll start with neck cars. We can do scap cars, shoulder cars, and then um, we can just stop at hip cars if that helps. And then actually it's fine. Um, okay, so. You'll, you'll see, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so with cars, in order to isolate the range to just the joint you're focusing on, you wanna avoid overcompensation by creating tension throughout your body. So to create tension for your neck, you're going to aim to reach down to the ground and you'll feel a lot of tension in your upper traps and even in your lats. And from there, of course, you wanna do core engagement and glute activation as well. This avoids tipping and shrugging and weird places. So first, you can just watch me. You're gonna bring your chin down to your chest as far as you can without pain. You're going to trace your collarbone with your chin. You're gonna dip your ear towards that shoulder. Chin up to the ceiling. Rotate your chin to your other shoulder. Chin down to the collarbone and back to the ground. So a lot of people, when they do neck rolls, they lead with their ears. This is leading with your chin. So that way you really get a capsular rotation. You're, you're pretty much massaging the capsules. So if at any point you feel closing angle pain, meaning I'm laterally flexing and I feel pain here, that's closing angle, closing angle pain, that's capsular. That's when uh, adjustments, manipulations, it's really indicated. If you feel open angle pain, that's usually soft tissue related, like muscle and things like that. So you're not allowed to have pain. So let's say you're here and you feel pain, you're gonna slightly come out of it, but then continue with the rest of your range. With any car, you wanna maintain your tempo throughout the whole thing. If you dump over into one range, it's like your brain is short circuiting, it has no idea how to be in that space, and it's just skipping over to the next thing that it knows. So you really want to slow it down and keep it even the whole time, and you're going to go both ways for every car that you do. Okay? Any questions about that? They can just do it in the range that they can do. As small as that range is, they should still do it so that it doesn't get worse.